we're going to take a look at model documentation tools of Autodesk Inventor. So we spend a lot of time inside of Inventor doing modeling, such as part modeling, assembly modeling. The last thing we want to do is have to recreate the design again to put onto a fabrication print. What I have here is a very simple part, the circle plate IPT from our working files directory. And I also have the circle plate DWG from our working files directory open as well. You can tell that this part right now is very simple, got some holes to it, got some thickness to it, nothing really that super intense. I'm going to go ahead and go over to my drawing, which is the other tab I have open down here. I'm going to start placing in a view of that circle plate. I'm going to reference this in. So I'm going to grab my base view command. I already have that file listed here. And I'm just going to go ahead and drop it in real quick. I can create some really easy views for this without too much effort. So here's my quick views for my form, fit, and function detailing that I want to do. Inside of this, I have an annotate tab where I can create things like center mark lines. I'm going to go ahead and do that here first. Create a nice centered pattern for this. I can also put other general dimensions on this. Here I'll put a thickness on. Here I'll put a diameter to this one. And I'll go ahead and zoom in so you can see that a little better. You can also change how these look. So maybe you want this to be a shaded view, show a little bit nicer. Maybe you want to turn hidden lines on and off. Those are all things you can do inside this documentation environment because in the end, you're going to give this print to somebody and they're going to have to fabricate your design. What makes up this drawing environment is basically a title block, a border, different styles and standards for how we have things set up. You can see I have a pretty basic title block down here that ships with the software. I just did a little bonus of putting an image file into this title block. But what I want to look at next is how the change takes place from the drawing side and the modeling side back and forth. So if I go back down to my circle plate IPT and I jump back over to that file, I'm going to make a few quick changes. So I'll go ahead and show my dimensions on this. And I'm going to change my thickness of the part from 0.15 to 0.375 inches. Go ahead and update that so you can see the thickness take place. I'm also going to change my fillets on here to be 0.125, much bigger on the fillets. And maybe I'll make one more change here with a show dimensions. And I'd like to adjust the size of that hole. So I'll go ahead and double click on that. We'll make that 3 8. That one, the center changed, the other ones did not. That's what I wanted. Now that I've made these changes to this, Again, I'd hate to re-link in or recreate that fabrication drawing. So Inventor does create an associative link back and forth here. And it will update my geometry. You can see that hole is a little bit smaller. The overall size here stayed the same, but my fillets got updated as well as the dimension on there automatically updated for me as well. So this has been a look at the model documentation environment for Inventor so you can help design your form, fit, and function fabrication drawings for your digital prototype.